The purpose for graphing points on the coordinate plane is to draw a picture of solutions to an algebraic equation. There are many solutions we could plug in for x and y to get a true equation from y equals 2x minus 3. Instead of listing all the possible combinations for x and y, it will be much more beneficial to draw a picture of the solutions, representing all possible combinations that make this a true equation. There are several ways we can do this. The way we're going to do it in this video is make a table of possible values. We pick some possible x's and match them with the possible y that corresponds with them. What I'll usually do is pick a negative number, 0, and a positive number, and plug them into this equation. Let's pick 0 for x, also negative 1 and positive 1, and see what y's correspond with those values. We're going to plug these values in for x and see what we get. y equals 2x. When we plug negative 1 in for x, minus 3, we get y equals negative 2 minus 3, where y is equal to negative 5. When x is negative 1, y is negative 5. Similarly, we can plug the 0 in to the same equation. y equals 2x, or 2 times 0, minus 3. 2 times 0 is simply 0 minus 3, and so we get y equals negative 3. This tells us when the x is 0, the corresponding y value in this equation is negative 3. One more value to plug in, 1. y is equal to 2x, or 2 times 1, minus 3. This gives us y equals 2 minus 3, or y equals negative 1. This tells us that when the x value is 1, the y value is negative 1. What this gives us is three points that we need to graph on this plane. To find these three points, we picked negative 1, 0, and 1. In truth, we could have picked any three numbers we wish, and it would still work, giving us three points on this graph on this picture of solutions. The points we have are negative 1, negative 5, 0, negative 3, and 1, negative 1. Notice when we connect the dots, and if we were to extend, we end up with a perfect line extending out to the right and to the left. Turns out, this equation is a straight line. What's significant about this straight line is any point on this line represents a combination of numbers that makes this equation a true equation. Let's say I pick this point out here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up. 5, comma, 7. That means when x is 5, y should be 7. Let's check it and see what we get. y oh, equals 2x minus 3 was the equation. We said y is 7, 2 times x, or 2 times 5 minus 3. Does 7 equal 2 times 5 minus 3? Well, 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 minus 3 is 7. No matter what point we pick on this line, decimal, whole number, fraction, any point on that line will give us a combination of numbers that makes this equation a true equation. This is what it means to graph an equation, draw a picture of all the combinations that work. To help us draw this picture, one method is to pick three random points. We can pick any three points. I like 0 and a negative and positive number, negative 1 and positive 1. Plug them in to find what y equals, and we have our three points.